Hi, Tim Schetz here with C4D Training. Today I have a few tips for preferences in Cinema 4D. So if we go up here to Edit, Preferences, and we go to our Common tab, we have a scheme here that we can choose, uh, Light or Dark. Uh, I find Light to be a bit bright, uh, not so easy on the eyes. Uh, I kind of like the contrast of the dark a little bit better, but that's a personal choice, so it's kind of up to you. If we go over here to the Document tab, we have our Undo Depth. As you can see here, I have mine set to 99 levels of Undo. By default, it's set to 30 in Cinema 4D, and you can actually set it up to 10,000, which I think is a bit much. Uh, I find that 99 levels of Undo is more than enough, uh, so that's what I set all of my programs to. If we go over here to the Autosave tab, we have our Enable Autosave. Uh, highly recommend turning this on in any program that it's available in. Uh, if your computer crashes or like at the school I teach at, the power strips are actually mounted under the desk and the students after working there for a while will stretch their legs and turn off the power strip, turning off the computer and losing all their work. Uh, sometimes it's been an hour or two since they've saved. So enabling autosave is really helpful. By default, it's actually set to five minutes. Uh, I think that's a little bit too often. So I set mine to 15 minutes. I think that's plenty. Uh, I don't mind losing 15 minutes worth of work as opposed to, say, an hour or two. Uh, and then we have our limit to number of copies. By default, it's set to 10, and I think 10 is a good number. Uh, it'll save 10 copies of your file and once it reaches the 10th copy, it'll go back and it will save over the first copy again and continue to do that so that you'll always have 10 versions you can go back to. Next up here is the save either current document or all change documents. I recommend changing, uh, doing all change documents. So if you have multiple documents open know and you make a change and you forget about it this will save backup copies for you in case something were to happen uh, next is our save to location by default it's set to save them to a backup folder that it creates in the folder that your project is in uh, I like that option personally but you also have the choice of saving it to the application data folder for cinema 4d or choosing a location such as maybe a network server or removable drive. But again, I like the backup folder in the project folder. Now keep in mind that all this will only work if you save your file. If you're working on an untitled project and haven't saved it yet, it's not going to know where to save this stuff. So I recommend first thing, when you start a project, create a folder for it, save the file to that folder, and then your autosave is set up to, it'll automatically save it to that folder. Uh, then all we need to do here is close the box and it'll save our preferences for the next time. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you next time. Thanks a lot.